here we are in uh, Yamarangila, Honduras. And I just want to give you a quick walkthrough of the aquaponics build that we did here just recently. And then look at each component separately. But here is our fish tank. You can see it's in the ground, about uh, three feet, maybe a little bit less than three feet. And let me just explain what's going on here. We have the valve there and the overflow from the pump. From the T there, it tees down to a pump, and that's the one pump system here. And it's pumping water up into our dump barrel, which is filling up slowly. And then as the grow bed area begins to drain, it drains down through this gutter, which we manufactured from four inch pipe. So now you can kind of see the, the whole system here as I back up a little bit and I pan. Have the fish tank and all the ready, there's some tilapia fish inside. Beginning to cycle this system, we'll learn more about that later. So this system is just brand new, only a couple days old. So the bacterial growth is not up yet, the beneficial bacteria. So let's just review this again. From the fish tank, the water's pumped up. You can see the PVC pipe that goes into the dump barrel. There's a used siphon inside this dump barrel. And as that begins to hit the siphon level, which is pretty close to the top of that barrel, it will release down through this supply line here in the back and fill up into the gravel beds. This is our area for growing our vegetables. And then as it fill these, it will fill these grow beds up. Look down in here, this is probably hard to see. But uh, it will fill these grow beds up and then they will begin to drain out. And this is a flood and drain system, so these grow beds fill up and drain out, fill up and drain out 24-7. Or as you uh, set up your system, there's some variations to be more off-grid and to conserve energy as needed. So that's the basic system. Now I'd like to do, uh, we're going to do a few more short videos here on uh, each individual component. But that's the, the overall view of aquaponics, which is raising fish. Generally speaking, tilapia is a great breed, very hardy, good eating fish. So we're raising fish there and we're raising all kinds of vegetables in these uh, grow beds. And it uses the same water over and over and over again. So it's a recycling system. It uses about only uh, maybe 10 or 20 percent of the water that would be used on a dirt garden. And uh, the fish waste water becomes the nutrient source for the plants growing in the grow bed. And as that water goes uh, through that grow bed, the bacteria in the, back, in the gravel, the media, the grow media, there's no dirt in the system, will change that fish waste into a very high nutrient source for the plants. And as the plants uptake those nutrients, it'll send the water back to the fish tank in a purified state that the fish like. So it's a great system, it's an ecosystem modeling nature where you have fish, bacteria, and plants living together in a symbiotic relationship.